All right, guys, I'm Rooster, and today we have ourselves the Perix MX-1000 Programmable Gaming Mouse. So at first glance, you can see that this is the iron when, in fact, they sent me the copper version. No big deal there. Uh, just depends if you have any color preference when it comes to that. So you have the iron, or, as you can see here, the copper. And already I got it open. This is going to fall out. This is the software CD. You either want to go ahead and use this or use it off of their website. But the mouse is plug and play. You can just plug it right in. It's going to light up. Everything's going to work just fine. But if you want to customize and use the software, then you're going to have to use this or go off on their website. So this is designed in Germany, uh, however manufactured in China, like you know many other things, no big deal there. So getting it out of the box, we're gonna see a few things fall out more than likely. Oh, you get some extra grippy pads for the uh, bottom. So the, uh, your grippy pads at the bottom start to wear out. You have some extra ones there. Then you finally have the mouse. And as I said, see, the copper. So here you have the mouse itself. As I said, you have that copper thing going on here. This is metal. I presume it's copper plated. It's got this nice brush look to it. Now, if maybe this is a little bit too much for you as far as the aesthetic is concerned, I, I don't know. It's every you know every peripheral's preference. Um, but maybe if you like a uh, kind of Iron Man looking kind of thing here, or uh, maybe you're into some kind of steampunk, and maybe because of the copper look, it'll suit your uh, suit your aesthetic necessities. Well, oh, interesting words. Here you have a little Perix logo here, Perix.com. Here are your DPI switches, which allows you to get from 500, 1,000, 2,000 to 4,000 DPI. And with each click of the DPI switch, you will be changing the uh, color of the LED, which this kind of mask area. It almost looks like a bat now, come to think of it, like the wings are going up and this is the bat head. I don't know. But this will light up and actually breathe. So you'll see that in a moment. And uh, yeah, this has an Avago A3050 optical sensor under here, and it has Omron switches for your clickies here. Middle mouse scroll feels nice and fluid. Maybe a little bit too fast for me, but that's perfectly fine. It does click. And you have some uh, extra buttons here on the side. Now, at first glance, I thought maybe this is ambidextrous, because it doesn't look obvious. You know, it has the little rest areas on either side. But obviously, the buttons are only on one side here. So you're not going to be doing that with your left hand unless you want to use your ring finger for those buttons, I suppose. Now, if it matters to you guys, the actual weight of the unit is 147 grams or 5.18 ounces. I had to double check that because my conversions are, well, I forget my conversions. <laughs> Now, as for the braided cable, it seems to have this like this little black and navy bluish kind of you know, nylon feel right here. It feels really tough, you know, I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. And then here is your, you, um, your gold-plated USB connector. Now, guys, I'm thinking about turning this into my daily driver, you know, and review it that way. Give it a nice, thorough review and uh, see what pans out for me. So if uh, anything, you know, um, substantial, I guess, occurs in the uh, couple of weeks or a month or so that I use it, then I may do a follow-up video on this product, on this mouse. All right, guys, so here we have the actual mouse software. I went ahead and got this off of the Perix website. Just jump, uh, plug in Perix into your Google search or whatnot, and then it should just be under downloads. Then you find your mouse model, which in this case is the MX-1000, and then you go ahead and download a little zip file to use this. And so far, I gotta say, I've been glazing over it. And for a budget mouse, because right now this goes for 15 bucks on Amazon. As the, you know, as of the time of the uploading of this video, it is $14.99 on Amazon. Free shipping. And, you know, some people may think it's not the best mouse on the planet, but for that price and the software you're getting, which is gives you a lot of control, surprisingly. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised here. Anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, you can assign the uh, click. You can assign whatever you want. Look at this. You can change the click, uh, left click, right click, wheel, the uh, IE, which would be Internet Explorer, but that's for your web page. You want to go forward and back. Make these anything you want. Turn it into the CPI switch if that's what you want, so, so you don't have to touch these. Everything is labeled. Here, if you want to make some profiles, one for gaming, one for, I don't know, an MMO, one for an RTS, something like that, and you want to use this strictly for gaming, then you have some profiles you can uh, assign here for yourself, depending on the scenario. You can change your double-click speed, DPI settings for each one, and anything between 500 and 4,000 
DPI. CPI, DPI, all the same thing in case anyone asks. And yep, load profiles, create profiles, go to color control. You can change your uh, pulse setting, your breathing mode from slow to fast. I have it on slow right now. And the light set intensity, I put it down to low and it didn't seem like it made much of a difference. It didn't seem that much lower in intensity, but I guess if you're in a dark room, it's really the only time you're gonna complain that it might be a little bit too bright for you. But I think it's perfectly fine. I'm looking at it right now and it's on high and it's not bothering me. You can turn the lights completely off and then you wanna click apply whenever you uh, change a setting so it actually sends it to the mouse and there we go, I just turned them off. Boop, and now I turned them back on. And advanced control. Here we have the vertical sp scroll speed for your little scroll button, the windows pointer speed, and I didn't even realize that the mouse acceleration was on. I didn't, but I'm, you know, I'm not really noticing anything uh, finicky about it, so I'm just gonna leave it on, no big deal. Polling rate I never really touch, but if you wanna go ahead and fiddle around with that, you can from 125 hertz to 1000 hertz, or really one kilohertz for that matter. And if you ever make any mistakes, factory reset, awesome. Love to see this. So I'm just, you know, I have no need to reset it because I haven't really changed much. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on in here, but at the same time, being such a budget mouse, it's not like you just get to change a few colors and a few clicks and then that's it. You actually get the ability to put some profiles so that way you want to change everything here and then assign it to a specific profile. So profile number one could just be plain old, plain Jane, default settings, so that way you mess something up, boom, go to profile one. You want to set a profile two for like World of Warcraft stuff, assign buttons for certain things and make your macros and whatnot, boom, profile two. That's it, man. You know, just a bit of common sense there, a little bit of uh, elbow grease or finger grease because you're using your fingers and that sounded wrong, but I apologize. I'm not going to retract it. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Yeah. So guys, this has been the MX-1000 by Perix. Hope you all enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you uh, don't like the video or think the product just isn't quite what you want. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check out Perix, perix.com and uh, check out the uh, price on this thing over at Amazon. It's pretty snazzy if I may say so myself. I'm Rooster, guys. This has been another Ro Rooster Tech episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.